Hey, welcome to episode 5 of 25 Levels of Cutting Boards, where we're going to be going through boards 13 to 15. This episode starts off with a windmill pattern cutting board made from ash and sapelli strips. I used the drum sander to thin the strips down to the right thickness before gluing them to get the final pattern. Then I passed six of those through the sander to make them nice and square and then glue them together. Once that's done, I pass the whole thing in my planer once again and then cut strips using my table saw to be able to turn it into an end grain pattern. To do that, I flip each strip 90 degrees and glue all of the strips together. Once the glue up is complete, I plane it down with the drum sander and start adding the finishing touches. Which means sanding the board down, adding some chamfers on the router table, cutting the CNC juice groove, and adding some holes for the screws and then oiling the board. While that happens, I'd like to ask you to please consider subscribing if you like my videos, I'd very much appreciate it. Now back to the board, I finally add a few rubber feet and the board is ready to go. I really love this pattern and I'd love to get your opinion on it. The second board is a concept I wanted to try out because I've never seen it online so far. I cut large sections of ash and sapelli from some straight cut boards, but then I wanted to bake some blind cuts on the table saw, but my riving knife was too tall, so I had to change it. I want to give a small shout out to Einhell because I called them and asked if they had a blind riving knife, and they told me no, but since I planned on modifying it myself, they sent me a free riving knife, so I very much appreciate the service. Note that they are not sponsoring this video. So once that was changed, I traced a line through the squares and cut those strips down twice to get just the right intersection. Now it's better to not do enough than to do too much, so I finished them off with a chisel. That basically gave me identical parts for both the ash and the sapelli, which I could switch between the two and glue together. Once that hell of a mess of a glue up was done, I sanded down those different sections and glued them together before putting them in my sander and starting to make sled cuts on the table saw to be able to make the final end grain pattern. I glued everything up together, sanded down the full board, then added the multiple finishing touches that I usually add, sanding, chamfer, CNC juice groove, and the oil and beeswax. Finally, I also added the feet and then the board was done. I'm fascinated by the grain pattern on this board, and I really love the final appearance. Now moving on to the last board of this episode, which is an end grain plate pattern cutting board made from lots of strips of ash, paduke, sapelli, wenge, and tiger wood. It even has some cuts so thick that it's necessary to do them in two parts. Now once all the strips are made, I have to pass everything through the sander to get all the strips to the right thickness and then glue them together to make multiple boards. Once the glue up is complete, I cut sections of the different boards to rearrange them together and make the plate cutting board. Then I glue that result to get the final end grain pattern. The preparation here is what takes the most time because of the sheer amount of strips you have to prepare. Now once everything is complete, I sand the board down, pass it through the router table and add some holes for the feet and the juice grooves as well, before oiling up the board to reveal the grain. While that happens, I'd love to get an idea of what you'd like me to keep or change in my current video format, so please leave a comment in the comments section below regarding that. So after adding the feet to the board, the end result is a fantastic board that required a lot of hard work, but looks amazing. So thanks to all of you for taking some time out of your day to watch this video, and I'd appreciate the support if you feel like sharing this video or hitting that bell. I will see you guys very soon with the next episode.